On this fifth Sunday of Lent, let us enter a time of prayer. Let us pray together. Lord, let our minds be set on the Spirit so that we might know peace. Set our minds on the Spirit so that we might be fully present to the enfleshed needs within and around us. Set our minds on the Spirit so that we might remember all that Jesus taught us. Set our minds on the Spirit so that we might be given the right words to say in this trying time on earth. Lord, hear us when we send word to you that our brothers and our sisters are ill. Come quickly to bring comfort and healing and, yes, Lord, resurrection. Lord, do not delay, because we know if you are here, we can endure. We believe you are the Messiah, the one who brings life abundant and grants life eternal. Do not delay, but hurry and bring your glory full of grace and truth. Lord, we are bold to call out to you for the sake of God's beloved world. We lift up to you and ask mercy for those who do not think they can endure another moment of grief or loss or pain. We cry out for divine discernment for our leaders seeking to stem the scourge of this pandemic. We run to you, Lord, and fall at your feet on behalf of those too sick or too weak or too afraid to cry out for themselves. Lord, we hear you weeping with us. We know you too love those we love. We thank you for hearing our pleas for help and coming to our aid. We are grateful for your compassion and your care, for the gift of family and community, for the beauty of nature and the glimpses of Easter even deep in this season of Lent. Call us forth from the tombs in which we've too long been trapped. Unbind us and set us free so that others will see and come to believe. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who taught us to say when we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>